right, welcome back here. It is Saturday, uh, September 9th, 2023. Kind of a slow day around here. Took the day off on Bobby's car because it was raining this morning, but then the sun decided to come out. So I had to find something to do. So I got down all the stainless molding for the car. Uh, that It all came with the car, so the car was pretty complete. Uh, these were pretty whooped, so I was able to score these uh, NOS off of eBay, so they're brand new. But they do need to be polished. I'm gonna take the tape off here and polish them. Uh, we got the lower windshield, which which has a, a couple dingers. It's got a nice one right there. The header, which is really nice, except it's just scratched. Um, which says door pieces. Door pieces are good. They're just dirty. I didn't see any dents on the door pieces. And quarter window pieces are good. Just scratched, as you can see. These windshield pillars are, are pretty good. I think one had a had a dent somewhere. If I remember right, probably can massage it out with my hand, finger. Yeah, right there. Right there. And then these uh, pinch well moldings. Like I say, the car was complete. It had all the stainless, so that's good. Um, and this is it for the stainless, if I can remember correctly. Oh, the door, the door stainless too. I gotta get those down. And then the wing, the wing, the wing and the side stri uh, side one, the long side one the, and the corner wing are already polished. The door ones I gotta get down. And polish those so what I'm going to be doing over the next week or so is uh, getting these cleaned up I'm gonna wash them down today see see what all we got it it had a bunch of that goopy stuff peanut butter looking stuff that never dries uh, it had a bunch I just scraped it out just use a basic scraper uh, it's best to wear gloves because that stuff is really sticky I did get the convertible top out and uh, I got it out here in the Sun so we can get the wrinkles out it's been out here for about an hour that's going to be the color of the top. I think it's going to match the car pretty decent. It's vinyl, pinpoint vinyl. I got the top from ARO, ARO 2000, I believe. They're in New York. Electron top, I think. Anyways, today's project is getting all this stuff washed up and see what we're working with. So let me do that, bring you guys back. All right, all right, it's been a couple of hours. I got everything stripped down for the most part. All the heavy stuff was gone. I didn't see a need to remove it 100% because I'm pretty much gonna put some of it right back on. Probably use some 3M product. But overall, these pieces, they're, they're in pretty good shape. They're in pretty good shape. Um, they need to be polished though. So what I'm gonna show here is this is um, original hadn't been done anything to it I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up but it's got some some real light scratches okay no dents though I mean maybe a maybe a little ding on but not really and these pieces are these pieces are NOS so I wanted to show what people can expect with NOS. I bought these on eBay. I got them pretty cheap. I think I got them for like $75 a set. And, uh, to me, that was worth it being that they're not all beat up. But they do have buffing swirls. You, you can see them. Which I thought was pretty interesting like I say this was this this arrived to the house in, in the original wrapper the wrapper was was pretty whooped but then they had it uh, vacuum sealed in another type of wrapper and then in a box but it was in the original wrapper I mean look this is this is NOS stuff it's got some some scratches in the Sun it looks pretty good still see them scratches. 
really see them swirls. Almost looks machine finished. So what I was gonna do is demonstrate, I think with this piece, I'm just gonna go straight to the buffer because there's no real deep scratches and there's no uh, dents. Might be a ripple or two, but that's, that's just being really, really picky. And we're not being picky on this car too much. But on this one, some of these scratches are deeper, so I'm gonna get you guys hooked up on the little chest plate and I'm gonna sand these. Um, I've already done one, it's over here. This one's done. And I hit the other NOS trunk molding on the on the buffer. And it's cleaned up fantastic. <clears throat> so my process for the piece was uh, basically 600 on the DA. Little five inch DA, 600. I don't have 1000 grit for the DA, so 600 dry, 1000 grit wet sand, 15, two and three on the DA. Probably don't have to do the 15, two and three, you could probably stop at a thousand, but I wanna show you how if you go to the 3000, you spend an extra minute on each piece, 15, two and three, you spend, so three minutes, it makes the buffing way easier, way easier. This is the buffer I'm using. If you guys watch the uh, aluminum side trim, seat trim video, same buffer. Except I bought some new stainless or some uh, spiral sewn wheels on Eastwood. Got two of them and I stacked them. I wish I would have got two more, but these things are like 15 bucks each, maybe, maybe 20. So kind of steep. Got two, and I got some stainless, some gray compound. So let me get you guys hooked up on the chest plate, and we'll polish one uh, one of the moldings. All right, we're ready to hit it on the buffer. Safety glasses, leather gloves, because this thing's gonna get hot. And me personally, right now, I'm wearing a, wearing a denim, denim apron. Um, mainly because when you're out here, I mean, I do it out here in the back, it's, it's no wind right now, but if you're wearing a loose shirt or uh, your shirt is untucked, if, if you don't have an apron, you at least wanna tuck your shirt in. If your shirt is untucked, you get a little too close or something and it catches right here, it's going to be a problem so with the apron everything is 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 you know protected 3600 rpm
This is a uh, This is a loose wheel. You can see the difference. This was a tight spiral sewn, made for stainless, and this is loose. You can use the loose on the stainless or aluminum. You usually use a white rouge. So it's it's loaded with white. I just use it on the stainless to basically kind of finish it off. We're just going to rinse it off, see what we got. So there's no more scratches, but we you do have real small micro swirls if you see them. Okay, if you really want to be particular or, or, or you know anal about that type of stuff, uh, you can hand sand. Those are from the DA. You can hand sand, and you won't have that. But that's pretty much the gist of it. So I'm going to run this this brand new one. This NOS one, I'm going to run it across the buffer only. No sanding. It doesn't, shouldn't need any sanding, but we'll see. Same, same process. So basically what we had to do on the other piece that we just did was we, we refined some scratches. This one doesn't have any scratches to refine, so we go straight to the buffer. It's really hot right now. That's why I rinse it. Right, right here's that piece we just did cleaned up pretty nice swirls are gone for the most part now it's looking like NOSP should look one thing to note is this is stainless this isn't chrome so it's not going to be chrome you, you, you can chrome it but um, you, you are going to have some hazing and stuff like that simply because of the material it's made out of but see we didn't polish the end 
That's the gist of it. So man, you can do this yourself. This costs zero dollars. Zero dollars in labor. And we had to buy the buffer but and the sandpaper, but really uh, you can do this entire thing by hand without the DA. That's what I used to do. I used to do it by hand. And then polish it by hand. You don't even need the buffer. It just takes a lot longer. But hey, if you got time and no money, you can get the same result. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more work.